round number two, winners of the Korean Open Premier Super Series, runners up at the Super Series Finals, winners of the China, China Open, Jung Jae and Leon Day. So the world's number twos, Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Day. Duo twice silver medalist at World Championships. But their opponents are the best in the world. They are the world number ones. They're the four reigning world champions. Kaiyun and Fu Haifeng. A left and right-handed combination. Well, we saw the fastest smash for a woman broken in the men in the women's doubles final. I won't be at all surprised if we see the record for the fastest men's smash broken here in this men's doubles final. Chu Chen, of course, hit the fastest smash so far in the first. In the second match of the day, mixed doubles, 287 it was. Fu Haifeng, of course, holds the record as the fastest match in international tournament competition. 332. Has stayed for six years. So Kai Yun and Fu Haifeng, the number one seeds, up against Sung and Lee Yong Day of Korea, the number two seeds. More like women than this. Top two pairs in the world. Well, Kai Yun and Fu Haifeng. 42 and 5, their win loss record for the year. This is their seventh final of 2011. And in fact, it's their seventh in seven consecutive tournaments played. Now, in the semi final yesterday, they broke because they defeated. The defending champions Matthias Bow and Carsten Mogensen in two straight games. That their long moment so far, 41 minutes. Whereas Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Day, Jung Jae Sung, the shorter of the two men and older of the two men, 29 year old, as opposed to Lee Yong Day, who's just 23. 46 and 8, their win loss record, and that translates into seven finals from 11 individual tournaments. Of course, the team competition was sort of towards world rankings, in case you were wondering how they had eight losses there. And of course, Super Series finals, where you play first of all. Well, what a thrilling match we had yesterday. Jung and Lee had first of all had their problems against another Danish combination, Jonas Rasmussen in the second round, but in the semi-final yesterday against the number seven seeds, the reigning Olympic champions Marcus Kido and Hendras. 21-19 in that deciding game. Really was a match that fluctuated from one pair to the other. Jakob Simberg, Stephen Temple, Mark and Wales are court officials. Well, as far as this Chinese combination, this is only their third appearance ever at the Denmark Open. For Fu Haifang. He's been in the final before, though, playing with 
Chen Ye back into previous best that the Danes had done here in Denmark was a semi-final in 2007. Time and reigning world champions Kai Yun and Fu Haifang from China up against the number two seeds Zhang Jae Sung and Li Yong Dae. This is the 17th meeting between these two pairs, and of the previous 16, you can't separate them. Eight wins. played so in was in the final of the China Masters and it was Jung and Lee that won on that occasion surprisingly easy 21 17 21 10 well we're already seeing a pattern emerging here short quick rallies neither pair wanting to lift aggression on return of serve it's gonna be a fascinating battle today comment to say that this man Jung Jae Sung has struggled at times with his form earlier on in the tournament I thought he perhaps in the second round against Mads Conrad and Jonas Rasmussen I thought he was very patchy in his play I think he's really struggled this week yeah we've seen in several times Liam Day having to encourage him trying to motivate him get him up Jung's just looked a little bit lethargic here Notice that he's got very heavy strapping around that right ankle of his. Or well, perhaps it's muscle there. Difficult to see exactly, but perhaps injury worries for him, or or just maybe a lack. There's no explanation for it. Yeah, we've not heard anything on the grapevine about injury, but uh, sometimes it's difficult. We forget it's quite a contrast in terms of weather at the moment this time of the year from Korea to to Denmark coming into a colder environment some players are just better than others maybe Jung's just struggled a bit with the uh, with the weather and with the travel it's been a long year they've played a lot of tournaments this year the Koreans Five, three. well he hit one yesterday I think at 280 Game. Both pairs really determined not to give the lift away. It's a flat return, doesn't want to lift it, tries to look for space in the frill court. I think he saw Kai Yun moving forward and that just... Traditionally, traditionally, the pair that gets the attack tends to win the point. Both pairs are very, very good at keeping the attack once they take it. Hence all the flat exchanges we're getting at the beginning of the rallies. Let's try and get that ascendancy and force the lift. I think there was a smash in that last rally of 280. Not quite sure who hit that. Just warming up, I think we'll see quicker than that, yeah. the way this is going. Yeah, I agree. But again, 
Koreans got the attack. They don't get through easily, but they show good intensity on attack and eventually got through. Yeah, this time it was China got the attack first. Same goes for them. Takes four or five shots, but they get through. Day doesn't look too happy with his partner there trying the cross court drive. No, no already questioning his partner's choice there. You don't want to be trying to go through Kai Yun in the forecourt, he's too quick for that. That's a good return. to lift, trying to play the block. There wasn't a lot of space available. Oh. Oh. Certainly was, 283. Jung, well, that certainly is his fastest of the tournament so far. And he's getting close to Zhu Chen. Well, again, it's a very, very good exchange in the front and mid-court there. And eventually China just forced to lift, lost control. Back of the court, seven, eight shots of exchange there, trying to get the lift. Well, that's good hitting too from Fu Haifan. 291. Goodness me. Well, we said it might go, the record, and indeed it has. Looked easy as well, didn't it? I think there's more to come. We might get up to the 300 mark in this match, the way they've started. And it's gone long at the back line. Game interval. Jay Sung and Lee Yong Day. Well, he took this early. This is a real interception. Look at this. Didn't give. Yeah. You see from the body language there, he wants. Lee to look for the shuttle after he serves. Forced to lift from the Chinese. He wants Lee Hyundai on that forecourt, that's for sure. Just as long as he's there, it means there's not the space for the match. Chinese pair in the wrong formation. Well spotted by the umpire. Right. Ah, that's another good smash. Yeah. Yeah, not just power, but real good play. Eight, eleven. That's impressive. Again, probing from both teams, trying to avoid the lift. Broken racket, clash of rackets. 
Yeah, Kayun not got the power of his partner, but very clever pace placement there. Took the pace off, went for more angle. Got it right in between his two opponents and caused the uncertainty. Look at this, just clipped down to the middle. It's great, nice variety, isn't it? Rally before his partner applying great power and there comes finessing the point really, placing the shuttle, changing the pace. Nice contrast. Chinese coach is still looking very concerned at the moment. Just wide. Bright idea. Both pairs trying to get control of the front court. Oh, luck of the net cords. there he got it covered you see his racket was up and to touch the net would have been right there yeah there's the just angled I don't know whether to call it a half smash or a fast drop but just going for angle rather than power he knows he can't hit with the same sort of penetration as his partner and therefore just it is as you say a lovely contrast between the two of them yeah that's what makes them hard to play there's a lot of variety when they get into attacking formation since the mid-game interval have been a different pair. Four points adrift. At change of pace again the power from food and it's a good rally both sides having their chance in attack that time it is remarkable i mean to be smashing at around the 280 mark that is phenomenal Interesting comment, actually, Jill, because uh, one thing that I noticed when the graphics came up at the beginning, before this match, Fu Hai Feng wasn't in the top five, the fastest smashes, and it shows the maybe the ease of the route they've had to the final himself, not had to roll out full power smashes, but he certainly is today. He's turning it on. Indecision cost him dear. 15, oh. Service fault call struck above the waist, says our service judge. Didn't look the highest serve that we've seen throughout the week. Yeah, but it was high. Okay. 
Again, flat exchange. Neither pair wanted to deliver. Pushed it outside. Could have probably gone to centre there. Might have been the better option. Well, great retrieving from the Koreans. The dive kept them in the rally. Change of pace from Kai Yun. Again, we see Fu Hai Feng not quite in the front court. Takes a bigger swing when he's there. And that, that accounted for the fact he hit it out of the rear court. Good defence. It's going wide too. The attack, they keep it going down, and the court coverage is very good between the two of them. Good understanding. day towards his coach as if to say there you go 19, it's all so simple like that yeah set it up nicely to push down the line anticipated the straight return by the Chinese pair, Kai Yun and Fu Hai Fang. The delightful change of pace from Kai Yun once again. Mm. Doesn't make many of those errors. Well, that error does mean that the number two seeds have five game points. Big, big smash again from Fu Hai Funk. 282. And then the error on the low serve, gifting the to Zhang Jia Sung and Li Yong Day. 21 16 confirms the umpire. Well, we thought this would be explosive. So it's proving to be 18 minutes of fireworks. Yeah, the game, 21 16. Yeah, it's very impressive from the Koreans. They've kept a pace in the game, haven't they? Haven't really let the Chinese settle, not giving them time on the shuttle, not letting Kai Yun get into that favoured net position regularly. And motivate his partner. <laughs> Seems to be talking at double quick time there. Yep, he's certainly motivated for this one. Yeah.
Well, it'll be interesting to see how the current world champions respond after losing that opening game. Kai Yun and Fu Hai Fai. Whether they try and change their tactics at all. Do you think there'll be a dramatic change in tactics or will they just try and get on the attack more and dominate from the front the change in tactics will be on the front. probably try and look for a little bit more block try and take the shuttle early take the pace off to force the koreans to lift they've persisted with a flat game so far and i think we might see kai Yun just trying to block the shuttle fade it off a little bit shorter to force the koreans to lift rather than going pushing flat to them Taken from Fu Hai. Oh, I can remember five or six years ago, Ian commentating on Fu Hai Fang, and I said what well, really a weakness he was at the front of the court. He's worked on that area of his game, and whilst he's not probably quite as good as Kai Yun, he's now very good indeed, but he's struggling with his low serve at the moment. Yeah, just occasionally you see the old habit of. Taking slightly too big a base, much improved in that area. And there's that block return. Yeah. Block return. And both the Chinese players will see them moving right up the court. Look at them. They're both, both almost on the service line. Fantastic rally. Well, that's a great rally. The Chinese are lifting now. They're not going flat. They're not using flat defense. They're trying to use higher defense, use width, try and maneuver the Koreans around. Great space in the front court. Well, that's Lee Yong Day's fastest smash of the tournament by far. Broken the 280 mark. Best serve from Fu Hai Feng. Put the previous one in the net, over adjusted a little bit there. Let Jun take the shuttle early. Is there something technically that's going wrong with his serve at the moment, or is it just a, a confidence thing? Probably just a, a little bit of confidence. Sometimes you go through little phases in matches. China just trying to take the rhythm out of the game a little bit. Lots of softer smashes. And Korea, first opportunity they get, step up the court, use the drive defense, try and get the pace back into the rally.
There's the block return again. They can't keep the attack. Yeah, it's good to turn. Koreans forced into the lift, but they're able to convert it, turn it over, take the attack themselves. And they're now back level. Kayun, very effective, that clipped centre. He knows the Koreans want to play fast, but if they play fast from down there, it means the shuttle's going up and it's an easy interception on the front court. Up. Easy for Fu Hai Feng. Two really hard smashes in that rally, Jung. And then just took the, all the place off. He'd forced them deep into defence. Space at the front. Nice deception. Yes, and that was his fastest smash of the tournament so far. 284. Steep angle to the centre, proven effective, particularly against Jung, who wants to play fast on defence. on down the line, stepping in, taking the pace off, following it in, changing the direction. Saw it all there. Fantastic. Oh, my goodness, he got it back. How on earth did he control that? the shuttle across court. Jung Jae Sung at his absolute best. My goodness me, he was on his back foot. Look, he takes that six inches off the floor. Controls it across court. Well, that is remarkable. Eight, seven. Into the lead for the first time in Koreans. Oh, Lee and Day not happy with there. If you're going to use that flick, you've really got to tell your partner so your partner's ready. Rather than taking his opponent by surprise, he took his partner by surprise. Threw everything at them there. Ten plus smashes, full power. 
And he survived, and then Kai Yun stepping up and doing what he does best, reading the game on that forecourt, cutting off the midcourt push. been sent the wrong way but the service judge has called the fault yeah, I think see him waist. just lift his hand here as he hits yeah High quality this again, every rally now is really quick, really intense. Again, the Koreans intent on getting the attack, want to keep... And the Koreans have the advantage at the mid-game interval, two-point advantage. And I do think that Kai Yun, a couple of times, has been trying to play a little too tight to the net and made a couple of errors. Yeah, he's really desperate to get in there and create the attacking opportunities for his partner, but he's guilty once or twice of... Not a, not a surprise though, there's small margin for error in this game. Yeah. With such right. you make a poor choice, you get punished immediately. I think Kai Yun is the only player on court that hasn't joined the City Club, the power of the Smashes, only one that's not achieved that mark or more. Fun was convinced it was long of the back line. Looked towards the umpire for an hour, but nothing came. No, mm. that was in. And good call. Very good call by the line judge. Good call because that was going quickly, that shuttle yeah. as well. Yeah. This is a run of four straight points for the Koreans. Pressure. Finally getting into that formation. Too high thing in the rear court and Kayan really hunting the shuttle down in the front court. that Lee on day just indicated with his arms that the shuttle may have been out. I'm sure the shuttle was in. I think the line direct call. There's an awful lot of trying to influence the line judges going on nowadays in World Badminton. Softer sm smash. A change of pace doing the damage. Yeah, exactly. Nice variety from Jun there. Yun Day keeping the attack. And placing the smash off the defence. You can see there Fu wanted to defend on his backhand side. 
The shuttle was well placed to his forehand side and he couldn't adjust. be flexible in badminton and that's a clear example of why tries to move back quickly here foot just goes from behind him yeah, he goes down into the yeah. goodness gracious kept his eye on the shuttle he nearly got it First attack, didn't try and hit hard, placed it to the centre, made sure his partner was in good position, then put the pace on, there we go. Pace on, defensive up, push upwards, interception at the net. Well, the luck of the net cords with Fu Hai Funk. were well placed to take advantage Delightful. Again, smash into the centre, proving effective. And again, wanting to put pace on the defence and driving. It seemed to me as if Fu Hai Fung was a little slow to react. Look, he really doesn't move properly. No, that was very odd. Very out of character with the rest of the match, wasn't it? Generates good pace with a short back swing on the backhand side. That short. Yeah, got what it deserved. Quite sure who was going to take that shot. Kai Yuan or Fu Hai Fung. Little mess of it in the end. Koreans just three points away from this title. Make that two. Two points. Well, it's a good rally once again. 
Yeah, nice exchange at the front court. Sums the match against Kayun. Kayun coming out on top this time. It. From the way he's looking up, he lost that one in the light. Wow. Don't often see that, do you? But the Koreans, after just 40 minutes of play, now four match points. through high funk. He's been struggling with his serve throughout the match. Now, Lee Yong Day asking the umpire if he can tell down, and the umpire rightly saying no. Match points. his best to last because today he was absolutely wrong. Jung and Lee a victory over the current world 21-16 21-17 and for the Koreans it's their second premier super series title they won on home soil in Seoul, the second of the Super Series events this year, the first ever Premier, and now a title in Denmark. Of course, their third Super Series title of the year because they also won the China Masters. Well, I don't think we would have predicted that during first game of their second round match where they were playing against the Danes they've raised their level and that's always a sign of champion sports people you know the tougher the matches get the more you raise your level yep absolutely the Koreans certainly did that today it was the intensity of the game that was impressive they just kept the intensity very very high and it was in the end it was too much for the Chinese pair sort of rhythm on their own game. The players come forwards for the prize presentation. seventh consecutive final of tournaments played Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Day their fifth title of the year their 23rd title throughout their career and more importantly their 14th super series title and their second premier
only the second time this year that Kai Yun and Fu Hai Feng have been beaten in a final. And the second time in a final, they've been beaten by Lee. Well, they were superb today, were Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Day. Only their second appearance here at the Onyx Denmark Open. Four years since they've competed in this event. And my goodness, what a delight to see them here this week. Explosive, dynamic style. And they, of course, will be delighted with their performance. And they are down, and we'll hear from them in just a moment. Congratulations. How was it for you to win against Fu and Kai? I just tell them first. Uh, he said he haven't played before so many times, beat them already, so he's very confident to die. Depends the good combination that today they won. And how has it been for you to play here in Denmark? Denmark has been playing here in Denmark. 예, 오늘 덴마크에서 경기 뭐 예전에도 해봤는데 오늘 이번 대회 같은 경우는 체육관이 굉장히 좋고 또 이게 관중들의 호응이 굉장히 좋았기 때문에 시합 뛰는 데 있어서 굉장히 좋은 조건에서 게임을 했던 게 오늘 승리의 요인이 됐던 것 같습니다. 저희 응원해 주셔서 감사 좀 해주세요. Firstly, thank you for cheer for Korean team. Really appreciate you guys cheer for Korean team. Uh, they are great. Really great to be here because uh, the badminton are really great, sensibility, and all audience are a cheerful Korean team. They are really happy to be here. It's also been great to have you here. Thank you. It certainly has. Four years we've had to wait. They last made an appearance here, but it was worth the wait, wasn't it? My goodness, what a final. Superb badminton, dynamic and exciting in their style. Smashing that from Fu Hai Feng of 2.91, miles per hour. Well, they were consistently smashing it around the 2.80 kilometers. 